Home to one of the oldest cities in North America, and the hearth of many early civilizations in the world, it contains the most Spanish speakers worldwide and is the biggest producer of avocados. Today, we are taking a trip to Tenochtitlan, or as most of us know it as, Mexico. Mexico is located in the southern region of North America, with the United States bordering the north and Guatemala and Belize bordering the south. It is divided into 32 states, with Mexico City being one of them. Other major cities in Mexico include Guadalajara, Monterrey, Puebla, Ciudad Juárez, Acapulco, Veracruz, and Mexicali. Mexico is a federal presidential republic state, meaning that the country is divided into many subdivisions called states, and power is split equally between all of them. Every six years, they would vote to elect a new president for their country. The current president of Mexico is President Andres Manuel López Obrador, who was elected in 2018. Mexico uses Mexican pesos, which converts to about 5 cents in USD. Their GDP is 2.463 trillion purchasing power purity, while their GNP is 2.55 trillion PPP. NAFTA was a notable treaty since it allowed for the elimination of tariffs with the US, thus increasing trade. Most of Mexico's workers are in the secondary sector, so naturally they would trade cars and other machinery. They would also export natural resources, such as oil and avocados. The population of Mexico is around 126.8 million people, which is ranked as the 10th most populated state in the world, and it continues to grow as a part of the third stage in the DTM, with an estimated doubling time of 70 years from its 1.04% growth rate. Mexico's population primarily speaks Spanish and are Roman Catholic. Mexico's HDI is 0.779, along with a GII of 0.322, which are both ranked 74th in the world. Additionally, their literacy rate is 95.4%, so they have a pretty good education. Mexico is a country with a very rich history spanning over thousands of years. Over that time, many man-made and natural structures were constructed, including the Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe, UNAM, Plaza de Toros Mexico, Sotano Las de las Colondrinas, Necker Crystal Caves, Cholula, Teotihuacan, Monte Alban, and possibly the most famous pyramids of them all, and a wonder of the world, Chichen Itza. Mexico has one of the richest cultures in the world. Their ancient Mesoamerican culture was very diverse among different regions, and the influence from Spanish colonizers amplified it even further. The numerous folk cultures created many forms of art, including paintings, pottery, murals, and many more. Their art often reflects local traditions and influences from religion and nature. One of the most iconic artists hailing from Mexico is Frida Kahlo. Kahlo is famous for her self-portraits that depict self-identity, gender, and her emotions. One of her most famous paintings is the two Fridas painted in 1939, which depicts her European and Mexican identities. Foods in Mexico are made from common agricultural products such as corn, avocados, tomatoes, chilies, and more. Traditional Mexican dishes include tacos, tostadas, enchiladas, pozole, chilaquiles, guacamole, and mole. Mexican culture is very colorful, and their attire reflects that fact. Traditional women's dresses often include a wide array of colors, as they see colors associated with liveliness. By far, the most popular traditional women's clothing in Mexico are huipiles, which are sleeveless tunics worn with a skirt. Men traditionally wear simple cotton or wool clothes with colorful designs topped with a sombrero. But on certain occasions, such as the Dia de los Muertos, males may wear a charro suit. Some notable people of Mexican descent include Guacamac, Moctezuma, Jose Maria Moreros, Emiliano Zapata, Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera, and Carlos Slim. Air pollution, water pollution, and deforestation are all important environmental issues in Mexico. Air pollution contributes to a growing problem of climate change. To slow this, Mexico City installs renewable energy sources, expands green parks, and encourages usage of green transportations like bikes. Water pollution is a big hygiene concern in Mexico. To increase household access to clean water, wastewater surfaces are to be made more efficient in terms of cleaning and cost. Deforestation is a factor of climate change and hurts the Lacandon jungle's ecosystem. Environmental conservationist Julia Carabias leads the Aferro Lopez Mateos community to protect the area with an established restaurant that represents 2,000 hectares of land. Ecotourism is also established to raise awareness of the condition of Mexico's natural environment.